Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography. In the video today, we're gonna to be going out and about to shoot some industrial landscape photography. I'm sorry there was no video last week. I'm in the process of moving house. That move is pretty much complete. This is my new office space. It's a pretty horrendous mess at the moment, so I wanna get out and take some pictures. So, come with me. arrived and since we're talking about industrial photography it might not seem that obvious why I'm currently trekking through a wood but that is the beauty of the UK is that industrial areas and beautiful natural areas sit right next to each other so as I'm currently climbing up this hill through this pretty beautiful wood when I get to the top I'm going to get a really really nice viewpoint of the big industry which is over that way so it's a nice little trek up, a bit of exercise to get me going for the day. And then we should be able to find at least one or two compositions from the top. So industrial landscape photography. If you are anything like me, you like a bit of variety in your life. And with landscape photography, for me, when I'm doing this sort of na more nature type photography, after a little while, I just, not that I get sick of it, but I want to do something a little bit different. And I've been thinking recently about taking a bit more, a few more industrial type shots, just to tell the story of some of the towns and the cities as well as the countryside of the UK. And that's exactly what I am doing today. So I've come to Teesside, which is my home. Basically, I grew up in a place called Gisborough and Teesside is very much, if you're from Gisborough, you very much feel like you're part of Teesside. So I wanted to capture that today in the images and give that sort of feeling of industry and northern industry, which Teesside is famous for. Now, with industrial photography, what lends itself very, very well to industrial photography, I think is long exposure. I did an in-depth video on long exposure a couple of weeks ago. If you just took a normal quick shot, it feels harsh, it feels dirty sometimes, and it doesn't really tell much, or not an honest story of what you, what you actually see in front of you. Sometimes it is dirty, quite clearly, to make a really nice image just by adding a bit of long exposure. It takes some of the edge off it and creates a nice softer version of that image, which makes a more appealing image generally. So I wanna tell that story in a nice way and put a bit more of a positive spin on those industrial shots. So I have this stunning scene behind me here and I'm gonna have a little walk up and down, see what I can find. I wanna get the right composition for the story and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm set up for my first shot of the day and the camera's on the tripod ready to capture the image. And I've moved up and down this sort of hillside to find the right composition, adjusting my perspective as I go. And I think I've got about as good as it's going to get. Composition wise, I have the road kind of leading you in. There's a roundabout just at the bottom, creeping into the bottom left hand of the image and that leads you in to the image a little bit. There's a pond of water, or a tiny little reservoir there as well in the foreground. And then we have the industrial site. And it's the Wilton industrial site in Redcar where the blast furnaces and things. But one good thing that I have in this image with industrial shots like this is chimneys with smoke coming out of them. And that's exactly what I have today. I've got two chimneys currently creating smoke or steam and they are roughly set on the rule of thirds lines in my image going vertically. And then in the middle, I have the general industrial estate area. And then beyond that, we have the blast furnace. And then you can see the sea with the wind turbines in there as well. So it's making a really interesting picture with loads going on. And it's going to work really nicely. Right, so I'm going to take that shot now. I am composed. I am all set. I'm at F16 and I've got a long exposure going to smooth out that smoke or steam coming out of the chimneys i'm at about 41 seconds and on the front i have a 10 stop nd filter and i have a circular polarizer to remove some of the glare and the haze that is in the air today some people were asking me after i did the last video on long exposure can you stack screen filters and yes you can definitely 
particularly if you are beyond 24 millimeters. You can stack them to your heart's content and it's not gonna cause you too much of an issue. If you are from 16 to 24 millimeters in that wider end, then you do need to be just a little bit careful because if you stack them, they can start to creep in to your image and just kind of put a nasty vignette around the outside of your image. If that happens, you can just crop it out, but it's gonna reduce the quality of your image a little bit because it won't be the exact composition that you wanted. But above 24 millimeters, which I am today at about 40 millimeters, you just don't need to worry about it. And it's gonna work really nicely for me. So that's finished shooting now. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that smoke looks really, really nice. Out of the, straight out of the camera, it's not looking particularly interesting. It is the kind of shot that's going to need some careful processing. I might try a black and white. There may be some selective edits going on. I don't normally take very long editing my pictures, but this type of shot is going to be one that I spend a little bit more time over just to really produce the image, produce the view of the feeling I have as I'm stood here. It's a changing, evolving landscape, and it literally is capturing that moment in time as things change as the years go by. So yeah, pretty good image to start the day. Okay, so I'm in position, a fairly precarious position that is as well, for my last shot of the day. I have the camera set up on the tripod, looking at the world famous Teesside Transporter Bridge. And this is the main shot of the day. This is why I came here. This is what I've been planning to capture. And I haven't captured it before, despite living in Teesside for a long time. Yeah, just, it's gonna mean a lot to me. I wanna capture it, I wanna get it right as well. So the composition has been trickier actually than you would have thought because I have climbed down this little sort of rock wall that's the edge of the shoreline for the River Tees, which is literally right there. And I've climbed down there because I was not getting the right composition when I was up on the path that's up at the top there. From the path, the composition just wasn't right because the path itself was entering into the image. And I really didn't want that because I want the image just to really, really focus on the bridge itself. So I've tracked down or climbed down to the actual beach of the river here. The tide is coming in very, very slowly. So really I'm, I'm quite safe and it's an easy wall to scramble back up as well. But, and I have the composition I want. So basically that is the edge of the water here is just, just entering the right hand side of the image. And then it's just leading you up to the bridge there, which I have maybe, I sort of have the line of the water on the bottom of the rule of thirds. And then that just leads you right up into the bridge itself. And then I have some really interesting clouds behind at the moment. And hopefully, hopefully I will get some color in that just after sunset. Chances of that happening are probably about 20% I reckon at the moment. There is a bit of color, but there's a lot of cloud about, so we'll have to wait and see. Right, settings wise, that's what's gonna make this image, like I was saying before with industrial stuff, long exposure is the way to go. So with it getting a bit dimmer in the day now, I have a 10 stop filter on the front and I'm going for an exposure of around three minutes, 25 seconds. And that's with me at F16. I've gone to F16 to extend the exposure time as much as I can with that 10 stop filter on. And that's giving me a nice long exposure of three minutes, 25. Now what that achieves is to, like I said, remove some of that dirt and filth that you can see here in the waterline. It's gonna smooth out the, the water. It's gonna put some interest in the, in the clouds as well with that bridge contrasted nice and solid in the image and it'll have a nice ethereal feel to it and remove some of the filth and the dirt that I'm surrounded by here with sort of flotsam washing up on this beach. So all in all, it'll be really, really nice shot. I think that's finished exposing now. I've shot it just before I started talking and that is looking really nice. I'm happy with the composition. Lighting hopefully will improve. So I'm gonna stick around and see if I can capture something better. But yeah, happy with that. So it's been really good fun today doing just something 
a little bit different to keep the interest going, to keep my interest going, hopefully to keep your interest up as well. And it just gives you a few ideas of different things you can shoot. If there's an industrial area in your, in your, where you live, try visiting it, see what you can capture, see if there's a composition that you can make and see if you can create images that are just a little bit different that tell a story of the industrial landscape like we always do with the nature stuff. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making it. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate it when you share these videos. That probably helps me out more than anything else. And let me know what you think. As always, I am gonna be upping things very soon. I keep mentioning that, but it's coming very, very soon. I won't be missing any more weeks, hopefully from now on but yeah that's it really i will see you on another one very very soon i'm adam this is first man photography in my home of teesside out yes the clothes arriving check out ah yes i am very very happy with that yes